Kia hi wara, kia hi wara Tēnei he whakaro aroha e toho atu ki ngā whānau whānui o ngā motu o Aotearoa Tihei mauri ora In our last video, we introduced the idea of energy sovereignty Yet, as good as the idea sounds, the question remains how does energy sovereignty actually work in practice? Thankfully, we're not the first people to work towards this goal. In fact, there are countless people across these islands and around the world who have been working tirelessly to develop systems of resilience and self-sufficiency with the goal of energy sovereignty in mind. A notable local example are Hukurangi Enterprises, a charitable company based in Te Tairawhiti. They're developing numerous social enterprises to enhance the sustainable economic development and resilience of the communities in their region. Last month, I travelled to Te Tairawhiti to meet with Hikurangi Enterprises co-founder Panapa Oho and learn more about the work they're doing to become energy sovereign. Ko Hikurangi te maunga, ko waiopu te awa, ko Ngāti Uwe Pua, tu Ngāti Porau, ngā iwi, ko Mangahane te marai, te whānau e hini tāpora te hapu, ko Panapa Eho a hau. My name is Panapa Eho and I'm one of the co-founders and directors of Hikurangi Enterprises. We're a charitable company that's focused on increasing the well-being of our whānau and our whenua, based in Ruatoria, in the Waiopu Valley, in Te Tairawhiti, on the East Cape of North Island of Aotearoa. We started in 2016. We looked at a whole lot of business opportunities and enterprises that can work towards the economic development of our region. We're really focused on developing local resilience and creating intergenerational knowledge for the well-being of, of future generations. So a couple of the uh, projects that we're working on at the moment that are our main focus is Whare Order, which is around building affordable, accessible and healthy homes for our people um, and Ngāti Kai, which is supporting local whānau to grow organic and fresh fruit and vegetable and make that available to locals. As we've developed our system um, and we're developing our systems for the intergenerational resiliency, we're also looking for partners that have the same whakaro or the same dreams or the same vision in, in their products that can support us. So for the examples with Macwell, the ability to localise energy creation and, and heat fits perfectly um, within the, the scope of what we're doing and what we're looking to do for future generations. In February this year, Cyclone Gabrielle struck the North Island of New Zealand. It was the most severe storm event in our history, yet it was also just one of many events which have struck Te Tairawhiti in the last few years, wiping out fragile infrastructure and plunging remote communities into energy crisis. In conditions of energy crisis, maintaining critical systems for food storage and fresh water become very difficult and if not impossible. We simply believe that if communities are given the right tools to become energy sovereign, they will disarm the energy crisis themselves. And we're working with Hikarangi Enterprises to turn that vision into a reality. Here in Te Tairawhiti, we, we are literally out on a limb. We're physically and geographically quite isolated from the rest of the country. As we saw during the storm events at the beginning of this year, most of the main highways or the roads into the, to the region were, were taken out or the infrastructure was, was affected. So we're, we're really focused on local resiliency. The Macwell A35 engine can also be adapted into a 26 kilowatt generator, which is enough to power five homes at peak load. We've also developed a waste heat exchange system, which for every kilowatt of electricity produced, will capture an additional six to seven kilowatts of waste heat. This unit will be able to run entirely off-grid using any form of biomass as fuel. Yeah, so, so for us, what we see with Macwell is a uh, transportable or portable energy creation system that can either be plugged into a 
uh, Popokainga type setup with a number of houses that all feed off the, the one central unit or in time being able to develop smaller units so that rather than having solar panels on your roof then you can have a Macwell piece of technology that creates the electricity and the, the heat for that whare. Now the one thing that we do have a lot of is fibre um, in our region. We have trees for Africa and that's not going away so the ability to be able to use a local resource that's essentially a waste product and then put it into energy creation and then ongoing the ability to be able to have our own resources that we grow for the purpose of that technology um, it's, just, it's just a no-brainer. We don't have to import diesel or petrol or other materials to create our energy. We don't have to like have energy that's created in the South Island brought up through wires on a network that is fragile within our environment. Um, so we really want to de-risk our ability to be self-sufficient.